Here we want to multiply these two uh, rational expressions. Let's see, we have 4xy squared all over 3y times 5x squared over 2y. So really, there's not much work to be done as far as multiplication. We can simplify this in any way we want. So let's put all the numbers terms in the numerator together, the x and y values together in either case, and then we'll try and simplify. That will be the interesting thing. So we multiply the numbers terms in the numerator. 5 times 4 is 20. Then we've got x, 1 power of x here, and 2 powers of x here. When you're multiplying something with the same base, you add the indice or the power. So 1 plus 2 is x to the power of 3. Then we have y to the power of 2. And the numerator is done. So now down here, we multiply out and we get 3 times 2 is 6. And then we have y times y is, well, we did the same thing again. We have two powers of y. We just add those up in the normal way. 1 plus 1 is 2. We're not quite done yet because we need to simplify uh, some variables here. So what we have is uh, 20x squared, x to the third power, or x cubed. It can't cancel in any way, but we can cancel some powers of y here. So at this point, we need to cancel out some of the y's and, and numbers terms. There's no x's to cancel, so they're done as far as we're concerned. So we need to factor the 20 a little bit and see what we get from there. If we, uh, if we pull out a 2 from here, then we get a 10. And we pull out a 2 from here, we get a 3. So let's write that as 2 times 10 times x to the power of 3 times y squared over 2 times 3 times y squared. So now we can start to cancel things. These 2's cancel each other, and these y squareds cancel each other exactly. So finally, we can write this just as 10x cubed over 3. And that's our final answer for this expression, simplified as much as possible. Now let's look at a slightly different problem really quickly and see how they compare. If we want to talk about uh, this expression multiplied by another one, 4xy over 3y, so quite similar there, times 5x squared over 2y. And we multiply that out, well then we get something quite similar again. 20 times x cubed uh, times y over 6y squared here. Again, these are going to cancel in the same way, and we're going to get 10x squared over 3. But now only one power of the y's cancel. So in this case, we cancel this one and one of these. That leaves a y here. So quite similar answers. The difference being here, we have a variable in the bottom. And again, anytime you have a variable in the bottom, you have to be careful for uh, forbidden values. So anything that will make this denominator 0 makes this rational expression undefined and therefore doesn't make any sense. So we need to say, what values makes the denominator 0? Well, we have to say, y does not equal 0. And that's it.